Meanwhile, in Pakistan, it's a double whammy for the Imran Khan government. The opposition is set to go on a nationwide offensive on the 16th of October. But before they do so, demonstrations of a new kind, a different color, have erupted in the national capital. Hundreds of Pakistani citizens have hit the streets of Islamabad. What are they protesting? What are their demands? And how is Imran Khan dealing with these crises? We'll start with what's happening in Islamabad. The capital has been taken by a storm of union-led protests from various sectors. Thousands converged outside the Pakistani parliament and staged a sit-in. This included government employees, farmers, teachers, doctors, health workers and pensioners. They were all protesting against price hike and what they call anti-employee policies. Policies of the Pakistan government, of course. Most of them called off their sit-ins after, quote-unquote, successful negotiations with the government. But women health workers are refusing to cede ground. They are on what you call a dharna at Islamabad's famous D Chowk. What do they want? A correspondent, Anas Malik, was at the protest site. He sent us this report. Well, I'm standing at Islamabad's famous g -talk, and the protesting workers right behind me are lady health workers. Yesterday, we saw a plethora of protests here at the d -talk in Islamabad, where people from different walks of lives, mostly government employees, those laborers, uh, clerks, uh, teachers, and uh, doctors as well, they came protesting, but uh, their protests were called off after negotiations, and the lady health workers right behind me, as you can see, they are there, and uh, they are demanding that their, protest should, that, uh, that their demand should be met, uh, that there should be basic job security, infrastructural changes, they should be given pension upon the requirement. Uh, when they go for uh, these uh, drives, uh, the, uh, the polio drives and other health drives, they should be given basic security and a pay raise as well. And that a uniform pay raise should be, should be implemented. That is what the health, uh, daily health workers demand is there. A unified pay structure, job insurance, physical security, these are fair demands especially for the Pakistan Prime Minister, who has always made tall claims about supporting daily wage earners. He's now using the socio-economic crises and the IMF loans as a pretext to reject these demands. At the same time, he's cracking down on opposition voices. Asif Ali Zardali, the former president of Pakistan and leader of the Pakistan People's Party. He's been issued an arrest warrant by the National Accountability Bureau, the NAB. Pakistan's anti-corruption watchdog. Mr. Zardari is being accused of corruption worth 8 billion Pakistani rupees. The anti-graft body is investigating his alleged suspicious financial transactions. His son Bilawal Bhutto Zardari says this is yet another attempt by Imran Khan to vilify the opposition's anti-corruption movement. In a tweet, he said these tactics are not new and will do nothing to deter his party. And the Zardaris, by the way, are not the only ones being targeted by the Pakistan government. Maryam Nawaz of the Pakistan Muslim League is also on the radar. Reports say the Pakistan government may block all routes to Maryam Nawaz's residence to stop her from attending the first opposition demonstration scheduled for Friday. Then we come to the opposition workers. According to the Dawn, more than 400 opposition workers in Pakistan have been detained. For what? for flouting COVID-19 guidelines. Yet another excuse, say critics, to sabotage the planned demonstrations. Those held include district presidents and lawmakers of both the PPP, Pakistan People's Party, and the PMLN, Pakistan Muslim League, Nawaz. Nawaz Sharif, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan, has requested the Pakistan police, and I quote, to not comply with Imran Khan Niazi's unlawful orders to arrest PMLN workers, raid their homes, or hinder their travel to Gujranwala. So Pakistani citizens are out of the streets. The opposition is gearing up for nationwide demonstrations. The Pakistan Prime Minister is responding with force. It's quite a fall from grace for Imran Khan, once a champion of free speech, and civil rights movements, now a puppet of the Pakistan army, trying to crush all dissent. Jitne bhi Pakistan ke masle hain, mushkil hain, mushkil hain. Lekin sab hal ho sakte hain, sab mumkin hain. Irada chahiye. Kaum akathi ho jaye, koi cheez na mumkin nahi hai. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.